So we are walking through old town of Corfu. Just landed. Just landed an hour ago. Put our stuff down at the Airbnb. And this place is beautiful. Cool. Yeah, it's There's beautiful. medieval, old medieval village. Do you know what architecture this is inspired by? It's like Italian meets. This French island meets. was fought over by many people many times. So I don't know. It's in, it has a lot, a lot going on. This is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. it reminds me of Nice, Nice, and Rome and Mallorca. Mostly Nice, all the old actually. Towns. All the old towns, but yeah, mostly yeah. Nice for me. I feel like when it comes to traveling, like sometimes when you just let go, you make a good team, and you go with the flow, you can. Maybe. Like you sort of discover the best parts yeah. of the Definitely. of the place, as opposed to planning it too much and getting stuck with an itinerary. <laughs> so charming! Oh my gosh, my heart can't take it. My original idea was to walk along the water to get to the restaurant, and Dan had this amazing idea to cut through one of the little streets in Old Town. So this is a fort? Yeah. I don't know much more about it. Looks like some old um, Greek temple. But you can see how clear the water is. Like, I'm so excited to go swimming in it. Called, but it's a fruit that my grandma and I used to eat a lot like she used to have these in her yard Basically you like peel off the skin. It's, it's, it's a fuzzy skin and there's a flesh inside in these huge pits, but They're uh, they're really good for like coughs and sore throats Where are we going now? We are going to a Greek monastery built in 1225 I don't know, I don't know the name of it um, but we've passed a bunch of Greek Orthodox pilgrims in traditional Orthodox clothing. And it's a gorgeous view. And pretty amazing. Should be pretty when we get up there. Yeah, I think it's just a local monastery yeah. in this town. Paleo I always get the name wrong. Paleo Krasisas. <laughs> Paleo Krasisas. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. Hey little guy. Hey kitty. <laughs> How's your dinner? It's gone. I know, we devoured it. It was so delicious. Let's see. We can show you what you have. <laughs> you don't have to show the pepper. One stuffed pepper. <laughs> One bite All of stuffed left pepper left. Pretty amazing. Nice. Enjoying this amazing view. It's a really nice view. Good morning. We are enjoying breakfast, a very fruity breakfast, on our patio. View, huh? mm -hmm. So beautiful. Okay, so we are driving towards Afiona's beach for our morning hike. And these, like, we're just like driving through the country, and these roads are so narrow, and there's all these hairpin turns. It's kind of crazy, but Dan is handling it really, really well. Got it handled. Got it handled, um, and also using a manual stick shift, which is pretty sexy, so. <laughs> Hike um, in Af Afianos, 
Afionas? Something like Afionas that. Afionas village. Um, and we just passed this beautiful ridge behind us. Just check out these temples. Beach on this side, beach on the other side. Just amazing. The downside is we didn't bring our swimsuits, we left them in the car. But it's a little too windy, I think, to enjoy swimming on the beach, but um, but at the same time, it's so beautiful and the water's so warm. Beautiful. Hey, Dan. Hi. It's pretty incredible. Oh, those two butterflies. There's a surprise little church up here, which we didn't expect. Can you go in? Yeah. That would make my head. <laughs> it's tiny. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> wow. Hey, Dan. Hello. <laughs> What do you think of this hike so far, Dan? I think this hike is gorgeous. You can see the view behind us. Pretty nice. It's so beautiful here. So, uh, some ruins, a shrine. Surprise. Surprise. Surprise church. Surprise church. And a surprise ruin of a house. Ruin of a house. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really awesome. Beautiful. coast. Life is low down, don't know how to flow You don't care anymore for a change in your life And you know that I know I gotta feel you, show me the real you You gotta give me Yeah, we're gonna go look for boat rental place Boat See rentals and uh, scuba gear See if we can get a better location than our original booking in Lagos. So we're going back to that restaurant that had the stuffed squid. Because yes. I like the things on their menu. Um, the other reason I really want to go, I think that cafe would be good for us. Is, oh, it's a kitty. <laughs> hey, kitty. Oh, I wish I wasn't allergic to you. First meal in Paxos. A whole grilled squid. Stuffed with rice. Yeah. Looks delicious. And some french fries. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. I'm having artichoke in egg and lemon sauce. Looks kind of stewy, but Looks it's tasty. actually really it's actually really good. Did you try it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. It's really 
really good. How do you feel? I am so happy. <laughs> we have our own private bay. I know. We're the only ones in here. The water is so beautiful too. It's like really turquoise. It's like crystal clear. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they need a haircut. Love these rock formations, they're so cool. We need to find some bigger caves that we can go through. Yeah. Go back to um, Paxos for the caves. Seagulls look very healthy. Healthy and happy here. We're gonna go hang out on this beach. I'm so excited. Such a beautiful little beach. Look at these waters, wow. Ready, Captain Dan? I think we're ready. I don't have to move the boat. <laughs> uh, so we're I think just, we're gonna be okay. We're just chilling on the boat because um, <laughs> Basically, once you park the boat, you have to observe. <laughs> We're laughing because I tried to explain this a couple of times. Uh, after you park the boat, you have to observe how the current is uh, taking the boat, how it's moving the boat. Um, and basically, you park the anchor all the way over there, uh, about 20 meters over, and we've already been drifted so close to these rocks behind us. Um, so yeah, we just need to like camp out here for another five minutes and observe how the currents move the boat before we go onto the beach. Because the last thing that you want is, you know, you're like taking a nap on the beach, or you're reading your Kindle, and you look up and your boat's banging up against the rocks. That would be, that would be a sad way to, that would be sad, that would be a sad day. <laughs> How do you feel, Dan? Relaxed. <laughs> I feel good. Me too. I feel so amazing. This has just been like, I feel like this is the first day that feels like a real honeymoon. It's true. Like we've just been doing nothing. Get a boat. Yeah. Go on the ocean. Find a spot. You know, just being present. Nothing, yeah. Just being, being in the moment. It's pretty great. Yeah. Did you get the olives? More. It's a little bit of a struggle. It's... <laughs> uh, they, they're beautiful, but they, they, I, yeah, you're right. I do think about California during these times. 